right guys, Josh Takehamer back again with another video. So we're gonna do something different. We're gonna do actually what the title says. Yes, it's about wallpaper engine. And if you guys don't know anything about wallpaper engine, well, you came to the right video. So I'm gonna go a little short, just a little short minor depth on how to use wallpaper and how to get it and just the basics. If you guys want to know more about it, I could do another video for part two. Uh, so if you want to have your PC set up looking so dope, it's so crisp with all the RGBs and Okay, what you know with with all that cool stuff. It's so easy So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put the camera uh, Different angles so you guys can get a nice good view shot of the monitor Maybe use the second monitor as a second display so you guys can kind of see So what is wallpaper engine people want to know and where do you get it? Well, first of all, you get it on Steam. Now, you gotta download Steam, and you gotta pay for this. It's actually, I think, $2.99 or $3.99. I think it's $3.99. So it's only like four bucks and stuff. Um, you don't have to download it. You could actually just get like a, you, I think I when I downloaded it, it was free. But I did buy the full version, and you could just do whatever you want on this. And you could type in what you want from landscapes to razor stuff to animation to cartoons to anything you want and it'll play it for you you subscribe it so it's pretty simple and easy now you're probably wondering Josh do I need a good PC to run this well yes and no not really because this doesn't really use a lot of a lot of a lot of mem it, it doesn't take a lot to run this program now, if you're gaming and ultra settings and stuff, and you got a real beefy computer, you could run the background and play the game. I do it too. But sometimes I turn it off because technically I don't need it. Depends on what I'm having in the background. So, uh, so yeah, it just depends, you know, on your computer and stuff. But for my computer, I could run it and I don't have a problem. So the monitor right behind me is a 144 hertz Asus gaming monitor, one millisecond. Now the one on the left is actually a 60 hertz, and I use that for my editing and my streaming. Yes, I know I haven't streamed in a while. So let's go in, check it out, and we're just gonna do a little video on this. Um, I just wanted to do this because a lot of people ask me what wallpapers I use and stuff and what it is and stuff. And it's just cool to have to make that interactive wallpaper. So if you got friends or family over and they check it out and they'd be like, whoa, how did you do that? And you could kind of show them, kind of show off your, what your PC does and stuff and show off your favorite wallpapers and things that you can get and stuff. And you can add your playlist and that all the stuff you want. So let's check it out. All right, so this is basically, I got my main monitor and then I got my side monitor. The reason I got this like this so you could guys kind of see, let's put Doc that way. Doc disrespectful. Kind of put it this way. So you guys could actually see when um uh hang on let's see if there's a glare. Is that a little better? So we'll try it like this. Uh so this is basically uh this is what it's gonna look like. I have it open right now, of course. So you're gonna open it up and it's gonna actually look like this. Let's make it really big. Right, so this is the main PC. We're actually going to do this. I kind of have it at a little angle, so I'm sorry. I'm trying to have the camera like facing. Sorry if the light's blinkering. Hang on, we're going to fix that. All right, so we got mine, and this is what mine actually looks like, but you can actually make your own. So then we could go to Workshop, and it's basically going to show everything in here that people have. So this is most popular today. So we go to here, you can go week, month, today year so we'll go for a week now there is some things that are explicit content so I'm um, just warning you now there is stuff that might be a little adult ish and stuff so stuff like this um, you are gonna come across that so you could um, go in here and change the filters I don't have any filters because you know I'm an adult so it doesn't matter but anyways you could type in some cool stuff and say you want Razor. Razor. 
you don't even have to hit enter just type in razor and boom look at all this cool stuff you can get so this is one of them i have i clicked on it and if you guys can kind of see it's over there and that's the razor one so that's the razor um this is it's called the razor just the razor and then you could select which one you want and then it tells you if it's HD 1920 by 1080 and then you just hit subscribe and then you unsubscribe so go back and let's go to install so basically this is all my stuff right here um, I do have cyberpunk so I made a folder for cyberpunk so if you don't know how to make a folder just right click create folder and then that's it or you could move it wherever you want I got Diablo I got Firewatch so it's pretty cool you just select it and it picks it already for you and then uh, boom and then there it is so it's really cool because you can have your you can make as many as you want um, you could unsubscribe if you don't like it and then you can go to I got WoW I got World of Warcraft uh, I got tons of stuff. I got Back to Future. So I'm a big Back to Future fan. If you guys know my poster up there, I have Back to Future. So, so basically what you're going to do is you're going to go to Steam. You're going to download Steam on Steam.com. And then you're going to go in here and type in Wallpaper. And pretty much it just pops up. Boom. They got these other ones here, but you could get this one for $3.99. And then you could buy it. And then you can even create your own wallpapers. I haven't done that yet, but you can. So I'm already using it. So let's install it, buy it, and it'll pop up like this little icon right here. And then boom, there you go. Now you can click this. And if you don't like this, you could actually unsubscribe and it'll get rid of it. So. These are most of the lot of ones that I use a lot. Um, so I like so a lot of these I just really like. And a lot of people ask me about certain ones that I have. Now some do have music and you could do playback, position, play rate, position. So you could change it, you could do whatever you want. You can you can just do position, so you could change it. Or you could do the playback, make it faster, slower. So let's say, let's go to something that has some like rain effects. So you got something like this and then you can just lower the rain. But sometimes when you lower the rain on some of the things that they use, it kind of glitches a little bit. So it kind of like stumbles. So you have to find that right spot to get the smooth rain. So. Um, this is actually one of my favorites. Um, this one that is actually called Post-Apocalyptic Fireplace. And it's so cool because like when I'm gaming at night, I'll have this one playing on the side. And I'll have this one for my game. And You know, it's just something just cool to see. and Just kind of it's peaceful and relaxing and stuff. So I kind of like it. Or I'll use uh, maybe like a fireplace or something. So... And I have some really, really good ones, like, uh, I, I just have tons. I could be here all day. I could probably make a second video on this. I got Tifa from uh, Fall Fantasy 7. And then you could pick your which monitor you want. I also have Venom. So you type in Venom, they'll pop up, and you can kind of go through them and find the ones that you like. So um, it's really cool that this program, and it's it doesn't cost a lot of money to use. So, and then I have more on the bottom, of course. I even have, like, Halloween ones. So I could get ready for Halloween and stuff. And then if you go up, I also have Christmas ones. The Christmas ones are really cool, especially when it's Christmas time and stuff. I got some, like, New York City with the little snow and stuff, so... And even got night, I got fireplace, and it's even got sound. You can kind of hear it. Got a little music. So it's pretty cool that you can do that. And then I got, um, you know, autumn. 
So if you guys want to know which ones they are, just let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you which ones that that the names of them and stuff. But just start typing in and just going away and have your have fun with it because there's a lot you can do. And of course, you know, got to have the doc. Uh, I even got this one. This one's pretty cool. It's from Dentota 2. So I like that. That's pretty fire course fire so just have your fun go through it if you guys want me to go a little more depth into it i can um it's pretty simple just type in workshop and then cross out what you want say we want you know fireplace so see you have all these fireplaces so it's the select the one you want, hit subscribe, and if you don't like it, unsubscribe. So this is 19 by 20 and relaxing and enjoying. So it's downloading right now and it's 13, 20% out of 100. And then when it's fully done, it'll pop up on my monitors and stuff. You could select which monitor you want, which one you only don't want. Both monitors looking the same. So it's at 94, 99, 100. So that's what that one looks like. So that's pretty cool. And if you don't like it, just click unsubscribe and stuff and just delete this. Now, if you want to go to the filter results, you go in here, click that. This will pop up and then you could select what you want. The landscaping, medieval, memes, nature. Um, I'll, I'll do nature too. You could do pixel art, retro. I'll do retro. Um, technology, vehicle. You could do all kinds of stuff. Anime. You could do anime and stuff. Um, so also there's age rating so there's certain things you can you know if it's too adultish so but yeah that's about it so there it is guys basic and simple so i hope you guys enjoyed that little tutorial if you guys want to see a part two let me know well that's about it so if you guys want to check it out and you guys want to see a part two let me know in the comments it's pretty basic and simple. It's it, it, for me. It took me a while to learn the extra stuff and stuff. So as as you go, you just start learning it more and stuff. There's there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. Uh, I don't know about creating a wallpaper. I haven't done that yet. Like I have just never done that. So I just click on ones that people made and select it. So. If you guys want to know some of the, uh, let me know in the comments if you guys see one that I did play in the video. Uh, just put the timestamp and I'll try to find it and get back to you on that. And if not, just type in what you want. Uh, pretty much if I have Back to Future, type in Back to Future, or landscapes, razors, and stuff. So that's about it, guys. So that's what it's all about, Wallpaper Engine. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching Josh Tech Gamer. And I will check you guys later.